Welcome to TheAngiologist.com. Let's talk for a second about fibromuscular dysplasia. It's not as rare as you think. It affects women more than men, not necessarily young, can occur in patients over the age of 50, two most common vascular beds, renal and carotid. When you see it, think about intracranial aneurysms. So consider imaging the brain in patients with FMD, even of the renal arteries. Patients with FMD present with all sorts of symptoms. Other than high blood pressure, they can present with migraine headaches, pulsatile tinnitus, uh, palpitations, even GI symptoms related to uh, fibromuscular dysplasia. Always think about this disorder in patients who don't have evidence of atherosclerosis elsewhere. Consider a standard diagnostic algorithm using ultrasound. Remember that FMD affects the mid and distal segments of the renal arteries. There are five types of FMD, but you really only need to remember one, the medial fibroplasia type that's called the string of beads appearance on a CTA or an angiogram. If you feel like you need to intervene in renal artery FMD, try balloon angioplasty alone. In most cases, that will work, and you'll only need to do it once. You cannot tell looking at the angiogram whether you've done a good job or not. So measure translesional pressure gradients before and after the intervention. You abolish the gradient, you've taken care of the FMD. That's theangiologist.com.